Swimming lessons can be a great start for teaching your kids to be safe around water. But our kids coach says our jobs as adults don't end there. So listen up. Dr. Giselle Habet with Jacksonville Pediatric Associates is joining us to talk about swimming safety. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, let's, let's do this. What are some precautions that parents need to take as we get into this pool season? So number one, and we cannot stress enough, is supervision. <laughs> Extremely important. Um, you know, it's there. really, you cannot stress that enough. That one minute, that one yeah. second that you turn your eyes away, you say, I'm going to go grab a towel or something, that could be a life or death situation. Um, we even, I mean, it might sound a little bit tacky, but we even have examples of, you know, you're, you're, you're at a party, you're having a barbecue around the pool. Um, have someone be the water watcher. Right. Okay. It's like, look, Look, you know, I'm going to do the barbecue and I'm going to take care of the guests. You are responsible for keeping your eyes on the, the kids at all times. Kids like visual. So if you say, I am the water watcher, okay, guys, if you're in trouble, I'm over here. Look over here for me. Even things like that, pointing it out, um, it really can make a big difference. Now, something a lot of parents, uh, my, my son is, you know, about a year and we're thinking about starting swimming lessons early. Mm -hmm. and. But once they finish swimming lessons, some parents are like, cool, my kid knows how to swim. Right. I'm good. Right. So, but wrong, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, in all honesty, um, there are, so drowning is the number one um, uh, non-accidental injury um, cause of deaths in ages one to four. Okay, wow. so you said your kid, your, your yeah. son is one year old. Um, and so you, we have to think about that. That's a large number of kids every single year um, in that age group that are drowning. Okay, and so there is no coach out there that can make your kid drown proof. Right. Right. Um, and so even though swimming lessons, um, I mean, it's amazing. We recommend it. The American Academy of Pediatrics actually is doing some research and they feel that you can start at the age of one. Sure. From one onwards, we feel like that will decrease um, those numbers of drowning, but it doesn't take it away. Um, and so even though your kid can swim, it does not mean that they don't need supervision. Another statistic out there is that um, it is the third le leading cause of um, non-accidental um, yes, non um, um, injury in the adolescent age group. These kids can swim. They're 15 to 19. They can swim, right? But they get overconfident. Exactly. And, you know, as, as teenagers get older, they get involved in other experimental things, I mean, even drinking and things yeah. like that. And so they go to the beach. They think they can swim. And, you know, it's, we've really sad stories that we've heard, yeah. you know, so you cannot be too careful. All right, let's talk about this. Again, this stuff can't be said enough out there. How to equip your area and your pool area to be safe. So number one is having a barrier, right? Toddlers are curious. We know that. Um, and so the AAP recommends that we have at least a four foot gate around the perimeter of the pool at all times. Things, for example, as putting an alarm to the door that leads to the pool yeah. so that perhaps if that toddler does open that door, you'll hear that ring and that kind of yeah. gives you that indication that I need to get up and see what's going on. They also have some in the pool that when the pool's calm, if also in the, the water Go starts to get a little, yeah, off. exactly, absolutely. Another good one. Absolutely. Great mm -hmm. information. Mm -hmm. Be safe out there, folks. And again, share this segment from our website with your friends.